Okay, welcome to the second video. Um, here we're going to continue on where we last left off at. We had a nice layout pretty much developed. Now we're going to go ahead and add some content to our website. Uh, just a real quick comparison, as you can see, we're pretty much there. This is the site that we're trying to go after. This is where we're at so far. So let's go ahead and continue. We did the layout, so now we, we did the header. Um, we're not adding a footer, so don't worry about that. So now let's actually make some content. Let's go make a blog. So go back to all your tabs here and go to posting and we're going to do a blog. This is where you do your blog at. You can do it in, in compose mode, which is really like a um, just a Word document, MS Ed Word document, something like you used before. Or if you want to do some fancy stuff, we'll do HTML code. I do kind of like a mixture of both and I'll show you why that is. All right, so we're going to just keep it really simple. Here's where you're going to want to spend some time. But I'm just going to do something just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to say, this is my capture page from Blogger. And since that's going to be a, a, a heading title, I like to make that, you know, we're going to make that bold. Let's underline it. Let's uh, make it all red so it pops out. Put it in the largest font. And let's, exclamation point. Go back to black. We can uh, calm down the size. We'll just go back to normal. You can put like a bold point here. You, oh, I don't want to get rid of that. So underline. So here you will find how to make a page. Just follow. And now whatever. And then um, let's go ahead and publish that post. But take your time. This is where you really want to develop your web content. So if we go ahead and view view the blog. Now here's the thing. It looks kind of cramped. It's I don't like the way it comes out. So this is where we're gonna do a little bit of HTML. It's really really simple, but just to kind of make it look a little better. And I think the uh, font was a little too big too. So let's go ahead and edit the post. Um, edit. So that came out a little big. I'm gonna drop that down to just large. But if we go to HTML, a really simple tag is called the break tag. And all it does is insert a space between lines. So bracket BR bracket is one space, bracket BR bracket is another space. You can also do the return carriage HTML, but it's just simpler to explain BR BR. And then we're going to go ahead and just view and see how that dropped that down a little bit. Well, let's publish because you can't see the um, header. So now we're going to view the blog. And see how it dropped it down a little bit? That, that's nice. It looks better. Um, and again, you can play around with this. Uh, again, I don't like the way that looks because it's all cramped up there. So, you know, change that. I'm trying to try and make this quick, but that's why if you rush, that's what happens when you rush, right? So we, we already know for a fact that uh, I'm just going to say this is my capture page, period. There. Perfect. Leave it. So let's go back to edit. Now, what else you can do with this is you can put videos into it. Uh, now, if you got like a YouTube account or something, say you want to throw in a video, it's really simple. If you've done YouTube videos, you'll know. Uh, but submitting YouTube videos is very simple. Um, you can go online again, find training for that, really, really simple stuff. But once you have a video uploaded onto uh, Google, you can always go to your account and for whatever video you want to submit on your capture page. It's going to be something like you're, you're describing yourself, describing what you can do. Kind of it's a little real quick summary about you and what you're doing and how you can help so people can get to trust you better, to get to see your face, get to hear your voice. And that really does create a, a much easier uh, sell than just a website with text. So here's one of my videos I put in here. Put that on pause. But what they have when you bring up your videos, you have the embedded HTML code that comes with it. So that's the code right there. You just highlight it, copy. Let's go back to our browser. And I want my video right there, okay? I want to even center that. So we're going to go to the HTML now. And we know it's at the bottom, right? Because there's the center tag that I just did. I'm going to put my HTML right there. Just right click, paste. And that's all you got to do. And publish the post. And now you've just thrown in the HTML code for your, uh, your blog. For the video so it's going to go to youtube capture the uh, video and there it is it's going to put on your blog man that's really bugging me that's... 
it will look different. I know it looks very cramped right now, but when you go ahead and publish it for real, it starts to spread out. It's not that cramped in real life, but for whatever reason, when you view it here, it does seem like it's, uh, it'll look more like that. See how the letters kind of flow better. You can even put a space in there. Um, so cool. We got that published post. So now back to this real quick. I'll just explain. We got the, um, Craigslist exposed. Uh, that's my header. We got these things here. Now, again, the same problem that this had, this also has. You see how close that is to my header? It's like those lines running together. I don't like that. So we changed it again. Really simple. That's just another HTML, the bracket codes that you did before. So let's go to HTML. And the reason why I'm doing it step at a time is because these are problems that you'll run into step at a time. Instead of showing you all at once, I want to show you the problems you run into and, and not try to overwhelm the steps. So I think that's just simplest to go step by step like this. So there we go, view the blog, and it should drop it down. There it goes. See how it dropped it down? It's not on top of my Craigslist anymore. Beautiful. So now we got the content we got in there. We got some bullet points. We got a video that they can review. We're pretty much there, guys. This is pretty close to what I'm trying to go after. You no, know, just a video content and a way to capture emails. But the last problem that we have here is it doesn't quite look too professional because you have this navigation bar up here. This You can't have it. That's nasty, ugly looks doesn't even look like no how many websites have you seen having that right that and also the, the subscribe to this is for like an rss feed where they can subscribe to your blogs we don't want that either so let's knock those out uh, blogger.com says it's impossible to remove this if you don't host blogger on your own hosting account website well there is always a way around everything and what you guys are going to do in in this video i'm going to be sending this documentation so where you see my website you'll have this documentation that goes with it. It's basically a step-by-step -step process, but we have this code right here, okay? In fact, this code right here, you're gonna wanna copy that, okay? And this document will be provided for you. Go back to your edit blog, and now we have to go to the layout because that's a, that's a layout issue. It's not a blog posting issue, so let's go to layout. And we're going to go to the edit HTML here. Now, don't get freaked out. It's really simple. This is the HTML code for the entire blog, okay? This keeps track of everything that's going on. Really, really simple. What we're going to look for is you're going to come down and you're going to see a blogger template style. That's just whatever style you picked. And underneath that, you're going to see variable definitions. This is standard. It'll be always be there so it's consistent. Get down to the bottom of these variables and right before the body tag, you'll see body and a bracket. Click right above that and paste that code into it. Okay, just like that. Save template. Let's go ahead and view the blog and voila, it is gone. Looks nice, nothing on top. Perfect, that's what we want. Now, we need to get rid of this. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops, get this guy out of here. So what we're gonna do, let's get out of this post. Let's get back into our edit. We're going to go to settings. There's a couple settings that we need to take care of here real quick. First of all, comments. So go over here to comments and click on new. We don't want comments. Why would you want comments? This is a website now, not a blog. So save settings. I don't think there's anything in publishing over about. You got formatting here. You don't have to worry about anything in formatting. Okay, the last place you want to go is site feed. This is where we're going to get rid of that subscribe to. Where it says allow blog feeds, say none. And that will get rid of the subscribe to Adam that you saw before. So let's go ahead and view blog. There you go, navigation's gone. And the save at the posting thing here is gone. So now your website's completed, guys. We just got rid of everything. It looks good. And now you know. Let's see, we'll go back here real quick. Um. Well, we're done. So if you remember what your site was called, your, your posting site, so if you view the blog, and up here, there's your URL. That's what you're going to advertise. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. I want to show you what happens. Now, when you look here, you're going to see these quick edit, uh, I guess they call them widgets. Don't worry about that. Uh, just get out of here. Sign out. And when you sign out, now you're no longer logged into it. And just paste in that URL. Hit enter. And there's your website. And we just hit refresh, and there it goes. It's gone. 